HM TV people! <laughs> so I did a video not so long ago uh, about some cracks under under an arch, underneath the arches. And uh, Mr. Chris, Mr. Maju, how are you, Flower? Asked what was the cause. So I said I'd do a another video when I've done a little bit more investigation works. And I've now found out what the f is. So, for those of you that haven't seen the other video, I'm going to give you a little bit of a lowdown. Those of you that already know, then close your ears for now, but I'll do this very quickly. So, we've come out to this house here in Stoke on Trent. Um, we've taken over from another builder, so another builder's come in and done some previous work. The client's not too happy with a few things, a little bit nervy about it, so I've come out and cast my little BDI, my little, little BDI, over it, and we found a few things. So, as I walked down this archway here, so this is a typical row of terrorists, as you can see, lots and lots of them, there and there. This is just to explain to the viewers at home. And as you walk down under the arches, on this particular one, we've got really, really shit work because the previous builders, as you can see here, give it a tickle, 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 tickle. I've got some half enders and then they just put some expanding foam to hold the bricks in. But beneath that, as you can see here, going all the way down, all the way down to the floor, it would, it would seem that the problem, obviously, the crack normally starts from the floor up. And then there's another crack here, as you can see, that goes down. But this one's not as, not, not as prominent as that one. So in the video, I stood here and said that typically, where the manhole cover is there, and then there's another one this side, is the drains generally come underneath, underneath where I'm standing, and then the drain will run all the way down there into the main sewer in the street. So I thought it may be a collapsed drain, because that's kind of a common thing with these houses of these age, this age. So I'm here just to explain what this is, and also to tell everybody at home, if you're going to put some bricks in a wall, don't use f***ing expander foam. No. Don't use f***ing expander foam. No. So, Inspector Clouseau came out, which is me and my beady eyes. So we've come into this property. So again, it's been refurbished, you know, it's been plastered, it's been painted, look. It's a HMO conversion, so it's got the emergency lighting, it's got the smoke alarms, even though, to be quite honest, the room that was supposed to be a bedroom was too small, so we've had to take it out and convert it back into a buy to let. This is the reason you need to do your due diligence on the builders and stuff that you use, because of these ups, and they are ups. So, this is a typical terraced house, it's in Stoke-on-Trent. It's been converted for a HMO, so the client has actually paid money for this to be done. And then if it's been done, they've paid or whatever else, and it's now been taken over to us. And this is what you've got. So this is the typical mid-room. So we've started from here, John. Let's, let's get the story straight. So, front door's behind me. There's the red van. Postman Pat! We've then got a bedroom here, which is the first room. The size is okay. Everything's all right for you for a bedroom. There we go. Quick spin around. And then we come down here. So what they've actually done, you can see from the ceiling behind me, that shakes, that that was the walls to a room. Now the thing is, the minimum room size is 6.52 square meters. And that was five meters, five square meters. It wasn't big enough. So someone's already thought about it and decided they're going to take the chimney out. And that, my friend, is where I come in. Because what's happened is when we've taken the chimney, if you can see the brickwork, if you see these, these bricks here in between my fingers, these would come out and form the square on the floor. So what the, builders have, the previous builders have done is removed, removed that chimney 
And as, been take, as, the, as the bricks come out of that nine inch wall, they've just gone at it with a hammer and smashed the out of it. Made a right mess. So you've got these new cinder blocks here, there, and then each side, you can see there, tickle, tickle, tickle. You've got a brick there and you've got bricks there. So that would come all the way down behind me and there, and that would form the wall for the chimney. So that would come out as a square to here and then across and down. Oh, got me, got me movements wrong there. So that would become the chimney. So they've removed the chimney and bodged up some shitty cinder block, which is fine. Apart from the fact that they put, they haven't tied it in with the original brickwork. So you've got all these holes here, which is crap. So there's no cement, there's no, same there, it's, it's, it's a crap job. So we've now got to rip all this off and point it all back in and tie it back in properly. But my main, my main um, concern was, was the chimney supported because I couldn't see above me, I couldn't see a steel and obviously you can't see a steel. So again, got my magnifying glass out and went across and thought to myself, oh, this isn't looking good. So we come to the back bedroom here. Ta -da! So it's got an ensuite, really good size room by the way. And then look down. Now I'm conscious that you can't see what, I can't see what's going on. So, you'll see, let me tickle, tickle your stick folks. That there is a cinder block. And that is the joist. And the chimney would go up, go, go, out, go across the archway I was previously in. And it would, it would flute across there and then up into this stack. So the chimney downstairs comes, let's see, right, stand there, you can see better. So right beneath my feet now, this is the walkway I was, I was with downstairs, where the arch was beneath me. So the, the wall that's downstairs is here, in line with this. So the chimney goes goes across here, there's the head, and then goes up the main chimney breast up there. So what I'm trying to say is on this side, there's no need for any support because the arch, there's no base, there's no brickwork above the wall there. Okay, does that make sense? I hope so. So I thought to myself, okay, it's not a very good job on the brickwork, but it looks, it, it's, it's, it's all right sort of thing. We can repair it quite easily, but the main thing is the chimney was supported. And then I thought, well, they're taking the chimney out in the front room. Let's have a look. So this is the front of the property. There's a window. Again, another ensuite. Now I didn't have any tools with me and I had the structural engineer out with me to, to price up and work out what the actual um, steel calculations were, because I assumed, and assumptions are the mother of all ups, I assumed that the back would need a steel, and it didn't, and I'll explain why in a minute. But I came to the front to have a look. So we've got the chimney breast here, if you can see this reveal behind me. There, so this is the chimney breast that goes across. Can you see it? That's better, there, there. We've got some new timbers across there where the hearth was, so it would be. So I needed to have a look underneath, and I didn't have any tools on me, so I had to rob a coping stone off the wall and smash my way through it. So I turned into Kong and I went, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I smashed it away, I've had a quick look, and the chimney has not been supported in the front. So my suspicions were right. So I'll go downstairs and show you and then hopefully all will become apparent. And as you can see, so this is directly beneath the bedroom that I've just been stood in with the chimney breast. There's no chimney breast in here, look. It's one very, very clear wall, look. So, I'll explain more now. So hopefully this will get through to you. So if you stand, watch the cars, here, Right, so you see this archway here, this alleyway, 
And if you follow that up in a straight line, the chimney sits on one side of the property. So this is the property that I'm in here. And if you look, the chimney is offset and sits over this side of the property at the front. Yeah, does that make sense? But then on the rear of the property, it's reversed. So again, I'll walk down and go to the back. I do like doing these videos, people. So again, this is the property that I'm working on. But if you follow that up in a straight line, this chimney is sat on that side. So the pots, of, so the chimney stacks are staggered on both sides of the back. The back chimney pot, back chimney, sorry, is sitting on that side of the party wall and the front one is sitting on my side. So that's another tip that you can look out for if you've got any chimney issues is to see if it is centralised or not. So, as you can see, there's an archway there and then reversed, there's an archway here. Can you see? So that's the front chimney, because that's the front. So the front chimney stack would come up the wall and then what, what would happen there is, is the front chimney stack comes up, as you can see them little inspection latches there, that's when the chimney sweep could actually come in and clean out the chimneys. So there's another clue, that, that obviously it's a chimney. So next door's chimney here will come up and then come across us and then go up on our side and the reverse at the back, because it's a staggered pot, this is our side again. It comes up and then comes across and up this side, which is why that's on this side of the house. So this is where the original crack is, or the major crack, and as you can see up here, this is how bad it is, as you can probably see. Uh, he says, I'm trying to get this. So if you look, right, there you go. If you look here, that daylight is actually the inside of the house. Give it a tickle, folks. Give it a tickle. So that's how bad this work is. This is f***ing shocking, it's absolute garbage. So what they've done is that they've, as they've been knocking the chimney out on this side, they've just gone at it with a hammer, knocked out the brickwork, weakened it, put some shitty cinder block on the inside, not tied it in properly, and also left gaping, gaping holes there. And that is, like I say, that is actually on the inside of the property. So it's a f job, folks. But that's how I've come to the conclusion. So just to recap, I've come out, I've seen cracks in the entry. I first of all assumed because a crack goes down to the floor that it's going to be a collapsed drain. I've done a little bit more investigation inside. I've identified that the chimneys on top of the, on top of the houses are staggered, which means one chimney sits on one side of the pro this property and another chimney sits on this side of the property. So I've then gone inside, I've pulled some plasterboard off the ceiling, I've pulled the floorboards up, I've had a quick look inside, I've seen that the, the, rear, the rear chimney is fluted over here, so this is, this is the chimney, so this one comes up on the inside, comes across and then goes up, which is why that inspection chamber is there, so that the chimney sweep could get to the bottom of the, the, the stack. So I thought to myself, well, it doesn't need supporting, but then that would coincide with when they'd come in to take out the, the brickwork of the chimney, they're going to cause all this issue, these issues. And if you, maybe, you know, these aren't small cracks, I can literally get my finger right inside. Give it a tickle. Nice. As you can see, you can follow that all the way down. Look, it's really, really, really poor job. The previous builders have done nothing to try and fill it in. They've not even attempted to stitch the brickwork or anything they just put up bricks and put expanding foam in so that goes to show you the caliber of the people that were there you f and again here this is the same look more expander foam more bricks you know more 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 sort of disrupted brickwork there we've now got to repair this we're going to have to put stitches in there we're going to have to, we're going to, have to stitch all this brickwork and replace it all in we're going to have to take the plaster board off on the inside. We're going to have to replace them cinder blocks or tie them back into the original brickwork so it's keyed in correctly. And this is an example. So this is the front stack. So this one in theory isn't as bad because the chimney is more on this side than this side. 
But even when you get down here, you go, what the f is this? And it's like, oh, look, see that there? That's a plaster board. Or it's a glory hole, folks. <laughs> So that just goes to show you what shit jobs people can do, folks. And that's why you need to do your due diligence on your builder and make sure they know what they're doing. We've now established that they need stitching. We know where the chimney pot's set, or the chimney, the chimney stacks even, which leads us to this one. Now, remember when I said to you that the front bedroom is sitting on our side, so that so that chimney stack there is sat on this side, you can see. So if you follow that line up there again, this stack sits on this side of the property wall. Which means, don't forget, they have taken out the chimney stack in both, both rooms to try and gain space for the HMO regs, I'm, I'm assuming. So I'm back into the front room. So we now know that the stack is on our side of the property. And you look up and you go, no steel. It's So they've taken it out and not supported the chimney and this front bedroom. Uh -oh. So I assumed that the rear one wasn't done, but the rear one's okay, but the front one's not. So now after these ups, we've got to put a steel and a pad stone on that wall there, going right the way across to there. But it's gonna sit where these pipes are, so we're now gonna to have to reroute the gas pipe and these two drops, which is for the radiator, so there's more cost involved there. Put a pad stone in, put the fire lining around it, insulate it, and then skim it back in. So bearing in mind that these people have already paid for a refurbishment, new carpets painted throughout, plastered, and they've called me in and I've upset them because everything's wrong and now they've got paid for it again but i will sleep tonight knowing that i'm going to put it right folks so there we go so there's some tips for you many many tips in this video it's gone on quite a while but hopefully it makes some sense now i hope this video has been a little bit educational or if not a little bit comedy value because i'm a big idiot but the top and bottom of it is you should always do your due diligence on your builders and make sure you're using someone reputable. Cheapest is not always the best because these poor f***ers have now got to pay me to come back and put it right. Or they've got to go and try and get the old builder to put it right, which that's not really going to happen. Little tip for you folks. HIMTV out and I'll see you later. Mwah!